Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen the raw, uh, saving of the raw, entire router state in the store module we have seen. So now in the in the previous video, what we have seen, we have seen the entire state has been stored in the router module we have seen. Now if you want to get the details, so for example, if you if I log in here, test at the rate test dot com one two three four five six. So if I try to log in here, and if I go to the post page and in the update. Here you will be able to see the router param. If I want to get this router param, what I need to do? I need to traverse into the route. So this is the router. Okay, in this router you will be having the state. In this state, in the route, you need to go to the first chain again into the first chain again into the first chain. And here you will be having the params. That means I need to, and if I need to get this data, I need to traverse deep into the router and deep into the router, and I need to get the param ID. So this could be a tedious thing and also this and also saving of entire this router data in the road in the store is also not a good idea this will raise into a performance issue if you are having big big application big complex application if you are maintain if you are having so much of store data and the router state itself will have so much of data again why because the angular router state will ships with lots of data in this one so saving that entire data in the in the store is not a good idea it will raise into a performance issue so for that reason whatever the data is necessary for our application so if we save that much of data in our router state it will be a good idea so what is the data that is uh, mostly useful for us that is nothing but the commonly what we will be having is what is the url what is the url we are have what is the url and what are the route params we are having and also optionally we will be having the query params and also the data if you are passing any data uh, to the what i can say to the route so if you have the data also it is sufficient more than enough it will be more than enough so commonly what we will try what we will do is so um, uh, url route params and the query params is the common data what we will be trying to save so now what we will try to do in this video is we will try to save this only these three data into this router thing so that we the router store will be very minimal now let's try to do this one so here if you want to do this one what we need to do is first we need to create a separate file so we can name it as custom serializer so this is nothing but this serializer so we are maintaining the serialized data if you try to see here here serializer how a router snapshot is serialized defaults to router defaults to default route state serializer default rate state serializer is nothing but the entire router state so now if you if you want to serialize the data so if you want to serialize your custom data you can also serialize that one so now here they have given the, the file how the custom serializer will, will be there so let's try to create the custom serializer and here I will create one interface. Okay, I will create one interface. Let's create the interface here. Interface router state URL. Okay. And here you will be having the URL of type string. And here you will be having the params of type params. Okay. And here you will be having the query params of type params. Okay. So these are the two things. So now if I try to see the params here, I can import these params thing. So these are the three things which I need to, which I would like to save it in the router state. Now let's create a class, export class, custom, what could be the name, custom serializer. So it should implement, implements router state serializer. Okay. So we need to pass the blueprint so what are the route uh, data you want to save you need to do it router state url okay so this forces us to this interface forces us to implement a method that is nothing but the serialize method so if you go here and implement here the serialize method and this serialize method the output should be router state url object so now what we can do is instead of writing these all things we can just copy this serialized thing okay the data what is present here and we can print it okay so this is the yeah, just now what it is happening here it is taking the entire router state snapshot that is nothing but the router state what we are having in our project here if you try to see this is the entire router state is taking it is taking first the dot route dot root okay so it is taking first dot root and it is it is looping over to the first shell so right now we are having the first shell right so here you are having the first shell inside this first shell again you are having the first shell and inside this first shell you are having the first shell so like this until and unless first child is not present it will loop over this all first child and it will take that first child last first child it will take okay now here it will be framing the 
data so url route and the query params whatever the data we are having in the router state it is taking and also the params also it is saving okay so now it is returning the url params okay this is the just a blueprint of the code okay so now we got the custom serializer we have implemented the custom serializer now we need to in include this one in the router set so that the router whatever the data we are storing it in the router in the in the router store so the data will be this much of data only will be saved so what are the data we have mentioned this data only will be saved so now what where we need to implement this custom serializer in the app module here we can provide an option something like here serializer okay if you have a serializer you can mention here custom serializer okay so i have implemented this custom serializer so as soon as you implement this custom serializer now if you try to see i refresh this one so now in the route in the if i go to the complete state and if you see the router and if you see here see only the url params and the query id is the only data whatever it is wow query data query params is the only data what it is saving in the store thing so if you go to the counter automatically you will be having only the slash counter url params is nothing is there and the query params is also not there anything so that is the reason it is saving like this okay so now we have optimized the router state so whatever uh, what is the data which is needed for your application so the, that much of data only we are storing it in the router state so if you go to the post here so you will be having the slash post if i click on update so now the params is get up, uh, get updated and here if you see the id is get stored in the params and if you have any query param something like uh, category is equal to uh, something like uh, one or something like this if i click on enter okay if you, if you see here in the router navigator sorry in the state you see in the router so you will be having the url you have the parameter params and also in the query params also you will be able to see the category so this is the way we can optimize the router set whatever the data we need to store here we can do it okay so by you by saving this one what is the useful thing so you can ask me so what is the useful thing here by saving these all details what is the thing that i can do so now what is the thing that we can do is so now the components if you go here and if you see the edit post okay edit post is the guy who is taking care of the routing thing if you see here activated route and the store what we are trying to do here in the store what we are doing we are trying to get the route so that means we are trying to get the parameter what is the parameter present in the route we are trying to get the data and this parameter we are trying to send it to the store okay we are trying to send it to the store so now that means the component what is the component is doing first it is getting the route from the router and it is uh, again accessing the store and it is sending that routing to the store so what will be it will be better that store itself take controls of this one and store itself will be responsible if any route parameter is there i can take the, from the route and i can calculate it and i will give you just the output so the store itself if we take the component there is no need to inject this route concept so the store will uh, automatically will take care of this route thing and it will take the parameter ready and it will calculate the post what is that post which is needed and it will send you the post thing of that particular post thing it will be better right so we have minified the components and we maintain as minimal the component as pure and as minimal we maintain the component so that component will be having only the just the implementation the all the side effects and all those things we are pushing aside okay we will try to see that one how we can do that one in the next video okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you